We are back in Hardcore Career Mode in Stormworks, and today we're actually going to be traveling back to our other island uh, in order to start building a jet plane. Now, it is worth saying I haven't actually ever built a jet plane in uh, Career Mode, at least I don't think so anyway. Um, and this jet plane will actually allow us to fly around uh, and unlock a bunch of places, and hopefully that'll be pretty good. Um, I'm not sure whether it'll be a sea jet plane or whether it'll be like a land jet plane plane, um, but yeah, we'll figure it out once we get there. So, let's go ahead and spawn in our boat plane everything, and get to our base. Hey! Alright guys, so we're gonna go in for a landing on the actual land, which is not something that I normally do, um, and we'll see how it goes. Um, this time there is actually a runway, which is quite nice, so let's go ahead and cut the throttle. There we go, glide ourselves down onto the actual runway. I am missing a little bit, but that's okay. Alright, floor it a little bit, there we go. And bam, there we go, very nice. Um, and then all we have to do is take ourselves into the building, and then we can start building a jet plane. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so let's start by building a jet. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Um, I really like the idea of actually allowing this to be some sort of cargo jet as well. Um, so what I want to do is figure out how we can go about doing that. So let's get ourselves a small jet intake and shove that there. We're then gonna get ourselves a compressor, obviously. There we go. We'll move backwards, we'll get our combustion chamber and shove that on there. We then need... Oh, we only have the small turbine. That's not amazing, but there you go. And then the exhaust goes on there. So that right there is our jet engine. That's okay. All right, so from there, what do we do? Well, we need a pipe to go to the fuel. So let's go ahead and shove that there like that. And then we're actually going to connect all of this together just like this. There we go. Is that strange? Maybe a little bit. Okay, from there, what do we want to do? I want to attach this guy to here like this. I want to attach... Uh, this onto both sides, like so, and essentially what we're going to do is seal this thing off. It's quite small, um, but that should work for our advantage. At least I think so, anyway. So let's go ahead and shove this here. Now, the problem with what I'm about to do is that I feel like it's going to be quite unbalanced, uh, and it might take some, some, I don't know, testing uh, to make this thing work properly, but uh, that's what I want to do. So let's go ahead and send those guys together like that. Let's do this guy together like this, and we'll do this down the sides, there we go. And then we need to do the same thing on the top. Okay, so there's the start of our jet. Is that okay? I think so. So, uh, on the back of this, I'm actually gonna go and shove one of those guys, one of those guys. <laughs> there we go. Uh, probably actually like this, uh, which might seem a little bit strange. And then we're actually gonna go ahead and do one of these guys, uh, as well. There we go. So, I think that makes it look slightly nicer, anyway. Okay, so from there, what do I want to do? Well, this is going to be uh, on the rear of the plane, and actually at the top as well. So this is actually going to be sitting uh, directly on top of the jet. Uh, it's kind of strange, I know, but um, I think that's how I want it to be. Let's go ahead and do something kind of weird here. Um, I think I'm going to grab one of these guys. We're going to go backwards about four, and I'm going to shove that directly onto there like this. From there, we're actually going to go ahead and go forwards and do this so that it attaches on quite nicely. Um, I don't know, is that gonna look nice? I think so. Yeah, I think that's actually gonna work. So, let's go ahead and send this this way like so. I don't know how long this aircraft is gonna be, uh, of course, but honestly, I think so far, this is actually starting to look pretty good, which is so weird, because I wasn't expecting that. Um, which is kind of an odd thing to not expect, but there you go. Anyway, from there, we're gonna go ahead and do this, and then from there, Oh, you know what, actually? I kind of don't want it to be like this. I don't. I want it to be bigger. So, what I actually want is one of these guys to go on there like that. Which is so weird, but, um, kind of cool. So, if I did, let's say, this, that's fine. Yes. We're then able to do something like this down the front. There you go. And we can build it like that. Yeah, that could be kind of weird, but also kind of cool. Now, I don't want it to be too big. I want it to actually be relatively small. So we're just going to go and shove this guy on there like this. We're then going to go back to these guys and do that. There we go. And that's essentially how big this aircraft's going to be, which is not very big at all. 
Uh, we then put this guy down the center, there you go, and then we essentially just copy this from the top to the bottom, and that's gonna be our fuselage. Alright, so let's go ahead and copy it, flip it over, there we go. Uh, drop this down to here and paste that on, merge this guy with this guy, and there we go. So, all I need to do now is sort of merge in the back end, make that look a little bit nicer. This will open a little bit like a... Um, a shuttle, you know, the space shuttle, um, and then we'll, we can put the cargo in through the top, I think, um, and yeah, we need a cockpit. Alright, so, let's time-lapse the back build, um, I'm not very good at actually building the back ends of these things, so this should be fun, <laughs> maybe. Okay, you know what? I think we've actually done a really good job there. I think that looks sick. Um, I do feel like balancing this thing out is going to be a massive pain in the butt. Uh, I also actually think the landing gear is going to be a massive pain in the butt as well. But um, yeah, that's just something we're going to have to deal with. So, uh, now I think we're going to go ahead and work on the cockpit. But first, I think I'm going to make it slightly larger. So, let's go ahead and figure out how big we want this to be. Let's grab that guy right there, and I think... I don't know how big it needs to go. So, I think we're going to send it to here. So, let's do this, down to there, down to the other side, across to the other side, up to the top. Copy this, move it forwards, and paste it there, I guess? Yeah, sure, and then we can actually add the cockpit to the front of that. It's kind of weird, um, obviously, that we got the jet back there, but that's how I want it. Okay, so I struggled with the front end of this thing quite a bit, and I still think I've came up with something quite ugly. So, um, we might have to redesign the front end at some point, uh, but for now, I think we'll leave it just like that. It's, it's strange, but I think it, it it'll work. Um, I also don't like this bit down here, because I can't quite connect this bit, uh, to this bit properly, which is really annoying. Uh, it'd be really cool if I could make it smooth, but there's just no way of doing it. 
Not right now, anyway. So, um, we'll have to leave that as is. Uh, but yeah, I don't mind the way it looks. I think it's somewhat okay, so we'll leave it. Anyway, it is now time to actually add some more stuff to this thing. So, I kind of want this to look weird. I, I want it to be a strange looking jet. Um, so realistically, I should actually put the vertical stabilizer here, but wouldn't it be cool if we had, like, twin vertical stabilizers coming out the back end? I think that would be really strange, but also really fun. So, maybe we do that. Let's go and delete these guys right here like this, and start designing something uh, along those lines. So, yeah, let's go ahead and grab this guy and shove it onto there like this. Okay, kind of strange. Yes. Go ahead and shove that out to the sides just like so. Doesn't need to come out too far. Uh, just something like that will be fine. Uh, I then need to do the back end, obviously. So we'll try and figure that out. Um, and yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. So I think I actually just want that to come with, if that makes sense. So we would obviously have it go like this. So actually, delete that guy real quick. There we go. Shove this guy onto there like that and do... Oh, it, it can't actually fit there, can it? It needs to go here. So if we fill those two in, there we go. Uh, we shove this guy ah, on here like this. Delete those and do this. There we go. Oh, no, actually. Yeah, no, we'll do that. There you go. Delete those guys right there. Fill this in just like this. And on this guy, we'll just delete those and do something like that. There we go. So, yes, it looks weird. But I kind of like the idea of it being strange. So, put that there. Go ahead and do this all the way along. This is where our vertical stabilizers are going to go, which is so odd. Um, and hopefully that'll look pretty good. Yeah, so shove this under there like this. Do those guys. There we go. And do this up to there like that. There you go. They're a bit big. So I think we'll actually make them smaller. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of cool. It's weird, but kind of cool. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added some rudders into there, because I just think that'd be kind of cool, and we'll leave those pretty much as they are. Uh, on the bottom side, we are going to go down by one, and just do this, there we go. What that allows us to do is actually put another one of these in, uh, like that, and we need to do the same thing on this side. So we do this, and we do this, we delete these three, grab that one, put it on there like that, and there we go. We actually have ourselves some... Horizontal stabilizers and some vertical stabilizers as well. It's odd. It is. Okay, so even though I put quite a bit of effort into making these actually be here, we are now going to go and delete those uh, and shove some control surfaces in instead. We just sort of need to, so delete most of that, delete these guys to there, and I don't know, medium's going to be too big, but I think small is going to be too small. Yeah, just about. But um, I think that's probably okay, so let's shove that on there like this. So this guy in here, like, I guess I actually will use one of these. There you go. Kind of like that. And we'll leave it as is. Sure. Okay, so I think uh, for right now, I'm actually going to um, go ahead and add a cargo door. And then in the next video, we'll add uh, some more wings, because we actually need the big wings. Uh, we'll add an entrance for us as an actual person. And we'll see what we can do from there. So, yeah, let's have this open up and see what that looks like. So delete these guys right here. There you go. Uh, we are actually going to go forwards to the front, and we're going to delete these guys. And this is going to be massive. But yeah, let's go ahead and get ourselves a pivot. Uh, shove that directly into here like this. There you go. Shove another one on there like this. Let's press K. No, not K. Uh, J? Nope. L? Hey, L. There we go. Uh, I wanted it in the same scenario as this one, so that's good. Right, from there, what do we do? Well, we grab this, and we grab this, we go all the way to the top, and we cut it, and we paste it. There you go. Go to the other side, and do a very similar thing. So, clear content, cut, and paste. There you go. Merge this one down to there, and down to there, and then on this side, down to here, and down to here. There we go. So, those are our doors. Let's get ourselves a switch box, and make sure this works. Here we go, switch box is going to go right at the back. That's actually fine, there we go, shove that there. And connect this to these guys, there we go, one, two, three, and four. Get ourselves some buttons, so that we can actually open those. 
Um, and I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the buttons back here. Could be kind of a weird place to put them, uh, but I'm sure that's fine. So connect these guys to each other and connect this to there. Okay, so the on value is gonna be one. That will open them up and I think that's fine. Realistically, actually, maybe I should have them open the other way. <laughs> this makes no sense. I don't know why I do this. Yeah, uh, this doesn't make much sense at all. In fact, I could even have the whole thing open up like a clamshell. That could be very, very weird, though, and I'm not sure how I feel about that, but, um, yeah, so delete this guy and do this. Uh, go ahead and delete this guy and do this. Okay. Uh, fill that bit in as well for now. Yeah, because I could have the entire thing open up one way. That would be really weird. Maybe we have the centerpiece be still. Alright, we'll do this. Delete those guys, delete these guys. Get ourselves more pivots. Here we go. Delete these two as well, and these two. Shove this guy onto here like this. And then shove this guy onto here like... That, I think? Yeah, so this one merges with... Oh, I need to merge it with that. Hold on. Whoop. There we go. Right, so if I can merge this guy with this, and this guy with this, that's how that's gonna work, I think? I'm now gonna copy these to the other side, and paste them in. There you go. Uh, so the far one is actually gonna be attached to there, and the close one is gonna be attached to here. But then these guys need to be attached to this. And then we can get rid of this completely. There we go. Uh, and now the doors should open correctly, I think? Uh, maybe. Anyway, buttons, here we go. So, shove a toggle button on the sides. We'll add them on both sides, at the rear. Delete those, delete this. Shove this guy onto there like that. There we go. And we should, maybe, be able to attach that to there. Attach this guy to all of these. There you go. And connect this guy onto there, this guy onto here. Uh, also, the value isn't going to be 1, it's going to be something like 0 0.7. Okay, we need a battery to actually test this thing out, so here we go. And shove that in there, good. Connect this guy to this guy and this guy, as well as these four at the top. There we go. Let's see what happens. I don't know. It might be, like, not good. Oh! You know what? That's actually somewhat fine. That's okay. Um, I do think they should open up even bigger, though. And what I mean by that is I think we should actually take these guys. I think it's this one. All the way down to this end. And cut and paste it. There you go. Go to the other side and do the same thing. So... Bring that to here, paste it in, there we go. Merge this guy with this guy, this guy with this guy, spawn it in, and let's see what happens. It's not going to be a very big cargo area, but we should be able to put things in there. Yeah, I think that's fine. Very cool. Okay, so I'm going to spend a tiny bit of time now actually smoothing out all of these areas. Um, and what that means is I'm actually going to do this down to there, and on the roof, I'm going to do this. Also, it does mean this isn't actually sealed, so we do need to be careful about that. At least a little bit, anyway. Um, so yeah, alright, good, that's all fine. Um, the floor is obviously going to have to go in here somewhere. So I think we'll have a tiny bit of a lip, that's okay. And at the back, which is just here, we're going to seal this off. There we go, so... This is the interior of our vehicular device. There you go, lovely. It's kind of small, you do have to crouch a little bit, but I do think that's genuinely uh, fine. There we go. Yeah, the cockpit's gonna be slightly different, so don't worry too much about that. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with the way this looks, I think, maybe. All right, I've added something else as well. I've actually added a way for us to sleep. There is a bed uh, located in the back of this thing. So let's sleep until daytime, and then we'll have a good look at it in daytime. And then, I guess tomorrow, we'll actually work on adding some wings to this thing. Uh, but yeah, it'll allow us to actually carry cargo, which is awesome. Um, and I guess some passengers too. I'll put some seats in there. Because uh, that makes sense. But yeah, it's kind of a cool, interesting looking vehicle. Um, I wanted it to be, like, weird, and that is exactly what we've got. So there you go. Anyway, for now, thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments down below. But for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.